My name's Terry Roth, and we're standing in front of the federal building in Port Angeles, Washington, this afternoon. The building is going to be named for a Marine who was killed in the South Pacific in 1944, and basically has gone unrecognized and forgotten here in the Olympic Peninsula. Richard Anderson was the only Medal of Honor recipient from World War II to come from our area. He was killed on the island of Roy near Kwajalein while saving the lives of three other Marines. The family had moved from the area. Uh, his remains were returned to the United States in 1949 and he was buried in the Mount Tahoma Cemetery in a mismarked grave where it sat for over 50 years. The Marine Corps League established a detachment here 12 years ago and we found we had a piece of history that was part of our community. About 10 years ago we started looking into the ability of trying to find a, a place to recognize Richard. He had no family. His sister had given my wife and I the custody of the Medal of Honor and his uh, papers and family photographs on the condition that they not be placed in a museum on a dusty shelf and forgotten. And we arranged through the Shipmates Association of the men who served on the destroyer that was named after him and former Marines to put a monument in local Veterans Park. But that seemed pretty hollow. And this building has never had a name. It's always been just the federal building. So seven years ago, we started a, an action to have it renamed, or named rather, a Richard B. Anderson Federal Building. And it's taken the action of Congressman Dix, Senator Catwell, and Senator Murray, as well as our local county commissioner, Mike Doherty, to get that action forward. And the bill was signed by the president earlier this year. The ceremony today will be to formally name the building in Richard's honor and to acknowledge the sacrifice that he made in 1944. He saved the lives of three other Marines. Lieutenant Solomon was later killed at Saipan and Sergeant Kennedy was lost at Iwo Jima. Sergeant Pierce survived both Iwo Jima and Okinawa and went on to live a complete life and he lives in Manhattan, Kansas today. By saving the lives of those men, he allowed their leadership to be passed on to other Marines that were just coming into combat. And that's why he received the medal. He sacrificed himself to save three of his fellow Marines. The ceremony today is a formal acknowledgement of that by the federal government, uh, the action of the president, and we have representatives here from the county and the city to once and for all uh, recognize a man who was lost over 60 years ago. All right, the first medal is the uh, Asian Pacific Campaign Medal as issued to all the troops in the Pacific. The second medal underneath it is the American Defense Medal. And to the right is his Marksmanship Medal and below that is a Purple Heart. Even though he was killed, the Purple Heart is issued, and it's the uh, oldest medal in the United States, starting with George Washington and the Re Revolutionary War. The medal in the center is the Medal of Honor. And there are three types of Medals of Honor. This is the one that's issued to the Marine Corps and the Navy with the anchor on the medal. The medal is suspended by it and not by a ribbon by itself. And below it is the Purple Heart ribbon, and to the side is the uh, gold star, which would have been worn by a family member, uh, indicating uh, the serviceman had been killed in, the, uh, in action. As I said, my name is Terry Roth, and I've lived here in Clallam County for the past 38 years. I moved back to the Northwest to raise my family in this environment. I'm retired from the Clallam County Sheriff's Department as a sergeant and I joined the Marine Corps League when we started to form this detachment 12 years ago. We wanted to name it after a, a honorable or a memorable Marine and we found that Richard Anderson was hidden in our past. Through our search we found his sister who was alive and living in Linwood at the time, Mary Roderick Anderson. 
and we asked if we could name our detachment after Richard. Unfortunately, we'd run out of time to do that, so we named it the Mount Olympus Detachment, but Richard has been part of our history since then. Mary allowed us to bring his medal and his things to the Marine Corps Ball and the Veterans Day celebration that we hold here each year. After three years, she asked my wife and I if we would take care of Richard's things to be sure that he wasn't forgotten and his things would not be left on a dusty shelf in a museum. Thank you for uh, being with us. It has been a real pleasure to be here during the dedication. And the next time that you're here in Fort Angeles, please take time to stop in and look at what we have here. We have a large number of veterans here on the peninsula, and we're very proud of our heritage and our service to our country. This is the USS Richard B. Anderson 786. It was launched in 1945 and named after Richard and served in the uh, U.S. Navy until the mid-70s, and then it was transferred to the Formosa Navy for another 20 years. Uh, any of you that may have seen the movie uh, The Cane Mutiny that was famous out of Hollywood, this is the ship that's shown uh, leaving San Francisco uh, going to sea again. It was uh, one of the actors, so to speak. Uh, it was a gearing class destroyer and it has since been uh, demobilized and cut up for scrap. <laughs>